Alright, into the Lapis Cave. Here's our first dungeon of, I'd like to call it the fugitive section of the game. Um, there will be one, two, three, four, I see the four or five dungeons um, at this point of the game. <gasps> we found Bullet Seed. <laughs> okay, Bullet Seed, it's like Fury Attack, but Grass type and it can go across any, you know, a distance until it hits a wall. It's stupid powerful, it's ridiculously good, and Henry is going to learn that instantly. So now he can just snipe stuff at random, and it's fantastic. Uh, but yeah, the fugitive section of the game is probably my favourite, because there's no, there's no Pokemon Square stuff, there's no, um, there's no back and forth cutscenes, there's no side quests that you have to do, it's just, a straight shot, you get a dungeon, a few cutscenes, dungeon, you know, that's it. You just go back to back cutscenes, and it may be a little nerve wracking for some because you don't have access to, you know, the bank or uh, the friend areas <laughs> um, or anything like that. Um, there are Kangaskhan statues, um, <clears throat> um, and they uh, store items for you. So, you know, you don't have to worry about storage uh, being an impossibility. So, yeah, anyway, this first dungeon, Lapis Cave, the music's kind of a strange fit, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm waiting for Henry to use Bullet Seed, and he misses both times, so, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Excellent first shot, guys. Um, but Lapis Cave is pretty easy, pretty short as well. It's it's just like the introductory dungeon to this section of the game. You know, the main gameplay doesn't change at all, but... Anyway. Also, it's raining pretty heavily outside. So if you can hear that, my apologies. I can't exactly change the weather. Um, plus it's nice. I love the rain. But anyway, yeah, Lapis Cave. You'll notice that sort of an icy cave. Yeah, look at that. Henry just shoots four times. Already killed him on the first shot, but he keeps shooting afterwards. That only uses up one PP. It has 10 PP in total. And he could just snipe across the room, like we did with Bubble in the early game. Except this is infinitely more useful. So as you can see, the dungeon is pretty small. All the room layouts are pretty confined. This kind of feels like a filler dungeon, if I'm honest, but, you know, it's... It's a decent dungeon. Uh, but it's sort of just a dungeon that's in the way for the next dungeon, which is another one of, it's a, another one of those serious dungeons, big dungeons, similar to Mount Thunder. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a fantastic section of the game, and I try to savor it while it lasts, because afterwards, after it ends, there's just, you have to do so many side quests in order to get back to the main story, and it sucks, seriously. Um, but, uh, you may notice that, uh, there's sort of like an icy motif in this cave. Um, that continues throughout, well actually it's the opposite for the next dungeon. Um, but after that dungeon there's two more icy dungeons. Um, because we start to... I guess we head further north, and I'm guessing this is on the northern hemisphere. So it starts to get colder as we head, uh, head north, and we get some pretty icy environments. And they look great, and there's a song that plays in cutscenes involving snow, and it's, it's amazing, I love it. Um, but anyway, this... Yeah, I, I really do like this section of the game, and I like the icy motif. Normally I hate snow, <laughs> personally I hate snow, um, because I'm... I live in Queensland, Australia, and there's no you, you wouldn't catch this place dead snowing. Um, it's very warm, uh, and I love that. I love the heat and the snow. My body was not built for snow. So anyway, yeah, Bullet Seed just does a ton of damage per hit, which is great. Um, even then, I like I like the way that these uh, locations look. I think, I think if I could 
go to a snowy place, but it's still 20 something degrees, that'd be fine. <laughs> you know, because short sleeve weather, but in a snowy place, because it would look nice. I think I love the way that it looks, especially when it's overcast. I love the way that snow looks. Um, but not the way it feels, temperature wise, because the hell with that, too cold. Um, So, yeah, this dungeon, I think we're almost done with it. If not, we're already halfway. Because it's, it's not a very long dungeon. This dungeon didn't even have to be in the game. It feels like a... Almost like a Makahita Dojo place, which I don't think I've shown off at all. Which is... Not great. I probably should have shown it off, but oh well. Um, there we go. Set up the stairs. <laughs> As you normally do when playing this game. This is filler commentary at the moment. Even Illumise. See, look at that. Boom, gone. Don't even have to deal with it. Don't have to worry about any damage you could do to us because it's nowhere near us. It's amazing. You ever played Mr. Dungeon 2 and you've dealt with Porygons using Discharge or Porygon Zeds, I think they are using Discharge. It's like that, except we get it. So now it's at this point that I found out the strategy to, if you get stuck in a tile like this and you don't want your teammate to have to run, or, uh, to have to walk back to the beginning, you switch their tactics to get away, then you waste a turn so that way they move out of the way, then you hop out, then you go to the tactics and switch it back to let's go together. That's how you do it. It's stupid, it's cumbersome, and it takes forever, but it works. Also, one thing I can't stand about uh, TMs in this game is that they, when you use them, they still stay on you, except they're just useless items, unless, unless you happen to, oh, she caught it. <laughs> unless you uh, have the move Recycle, I think it's, yeah, I think it's just a move that you can have, Recycle, which if you use it on a used TM, it gains its move back, so you can teach it to a different Pokemon. Um, but that's even if Recycle, because I'm not, I've never actually seen Recycle in this game before. So, you know, that shows how rare it can be, and I don't think having a move slot wasted on Recycle is worth it. Maybe if it's a partner Pokemon, I guess, or like a friend Pokemon that has Recycle, and you can make them use it on a TM. So maybe you have something super useful, like Ice Beam, and you want to teach it to uh, multiple Pokemon. Well, there you go. So it can be useful, but it's very situational. If you get recycled, teach it to a to a side character, a friend, not not you or your partner. So anyway, there's actually there's no way to store your money during the fugitive section of the game. So if you die, you're losing all this money, <laughs> unfortunately, but oh well, I suppose. So yeah, I think there's only nine floors. I.e. this is the last floor. So, hmm, yeah, this dungeon is very weird. It's very tonally, it clashes tonally with the story at the moment. So we've got Tangler here against one of those Pokemon where it's weird seeing them in their fully evolved, in quotation marks, form. Because it's Gen 3 before Tang growth was the thing. Although there was supposed to be an evolution for Tangelo in Gen 2, I believe, but it was scrapped. A lot of scrapped Gen 2 Pokemon, tons of them. It's crazy to me that we have access to that Space World demo with those all those different Pokemon that were scrapped. This dungeon is still going well. Might be 11 floors. Um, but yeah, an original. I'm get, it wasn't Tang Growth. Specifically, but it was an evolution of Tangela. 
Oh, it's interesting that it got scrapped. It's just crazy to me they put, they put work into all those sprites and all the artwork of those Pokemon that would just be scrapped and never used again. A lot of Pokemon that get scrapped get used in future generations, but... You know, not in that case. So anyway, we're fighting Bagons here, which... They're not too much of a problem. You'd think they were, because they're a Dragon-type and it's Bagon, but... No, not really. No, this dungeon's longer than... So look. Just takes out that goal back while it was nothing. Despite it uh, being four times strong to grass type moves, it just still. Bullet seed just. It's their bullets, they're actual bullets, they're not seeds, they're bullets. <laughs> Trico has a burst fire weapon, he's actually. He's got, a, he's got a battle rifle from Halo 2 in his possession. So I guess I decide to fully explore every floor of this dungeon because it's so small, so it doesn't take much time anyway. Okay, maybe this dungeon is 13 floors? <laughs> well, the 13th floor is the exit floor. Because we're actually, we're descending here, yeah, we're descending. So, so we come out outside when we exit the dungeon, so I'm guessing we We're at the top of a, like a, a steep drop or something, and we go into the Lapis Cave, and at the end of it, we come out of the steep drop. That's my guess, anyway. The, the dungeon's still going. This is this is as long as Great Canyon. Not as big, but strange. So that Bagon's just going to spam Gravel Rocks. I guess they can be useful if you're at a distance and you have a ton of them, but I don't know. I don't really find those damaging items that helpful. So this will be a little tricky. And he's run out of Bullet Seed PP, which is unfortunate. And now we're cringing. No, I'm not cringing. Okay. Cringing is essentially flinching in this game, but here I'm struggling to decide what I should do. I attract the Bagon. He misses the pound, unfortunately. We're out of PP for tackle. We're just missing like nothing else. Trico gets killed. Fantastic. We just got super unlucky here. I don't think I have another Reviver Seed on me. They're both still alive. Bagon's still infatuated, thankfully. Missed again. <laughs> Cringing. Missed the standard attack. This is absurd how often we just keep missing. Got over its infatuation. Started to use Rage. There we go. That was... Very unlucky. We could have dealt with that so much better if we just didn't keep missing so often. And the dungeon's still going. <laughs> wow, this dungeon's much longer than I remember. So yeah, I'm afraid of Golbats at this point, and you know, I haven't had the chance to fully heal myself. So there we go. I think at this point I'd just decide, yeah, let's just exit the dungeon. I mean, thankfully Trico decides to just snipe that uh, gold bat while it's asleep. They have supersonic too, which isn't fun to deal with. Okay, it was 14 floors. Whew, we finally made it through that cave. Where's that Pokemon not mob after us? Hey look, there they are, over there. How'd they get through the cave? Catch Whitey. Well, here they come. Run! How'd they get through the cave so quickly? Stop right there. Don't let them get away. 
They expect us to stop and wait for them? Oh no, look. A big fiery mountain. It's a mountain of fire. Look at all that lava pouring from the crater. Can we even make it through there? But they're catching up to us. What do we do, Whitey? Go around? It's no choice now. Let's go, Whitey. Look at them go. They're running for Mount Blaze. Are they insane? Mount Blaze is doomed desolation. No one's ever come this far before. I don't want to go anywhere like that. Can't be helped. Only those brave enough will give chase. So yeah, on to Mount Blaze. We've had Mount Thunder. We've had where well, we fought Zapdos. We've had well, now we're having Mount Blaze. We're gonna we're gonna fight Moltres. We know that. Um, thankfully, I'm I'm a water type, so I'm really not that worried about Mount Blaze. Trico, on the other hand, is you know a little not not great for this dungeon, but you know he's the, he's the partner. We'll be fine. And Mount Blaze's theme is pretty decent. The orchestral remix is really good. The epic orchestral remix that, uh, what's the name, did. So we have to get through that mount. So here's what I was talking about. So this is all you get um, uh, before a dungeon in the fugitive section of the game. So yeah, I'm just putting items away. Thankfully it's like a Resident Evil item box where, you know, it's just anything that you put in here will be transferred over to the next one. Yeah, this dungeon's theme is pretty good. And you get to save here, but you can't store your money, can't link moves, can't buy friend areas. So, yeah, that is all you can do, really. I have to take out a reviver suit, because we happen to have ours forcibly taken away from us, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's going to do it for this recording session um, of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one when we start to take on Mount Blaze and continue the fugitive section.